sometimes I'll just be on the train and I run my hands through my hair and I'm like, oh my gosh, my hair is just growing right now out of my head. Like, where does the hair come from? How odd. I'm like one of those potato sack things with grass growing out of it. Okay, Erin, we will need to wrap this up soon. Okay. Sometimes I'll just be talking to someone and I'm holding a mug. I'm like, I could just bang this person on the head with the mug right now. Like, what does that mean? Do you think I need to turn myself into the police? What if I really do it? Erin, we've been through this. Those are intrusive thoughts. So if there really is nothing else, we'll uh, need to wrap this session up. Okay. My dad's sleeping with a woman half his age. I can do another 45 minutes. Your dad is obviously going through a lot right now. We often see our identity in others, so if he's no longer with your mother, he's probably losing his sense of identity. I think it would be a good idea for you to do activities with him that remind him who he is separate from your mum. But he never really does anything to make himself happy. He only ever does things to make other people happy. Well then, why don't you make him think that this is for your happiness? Trick him. I like it. That is genius. I should really be paying you more. That was a joke. I'm actually very happy paying the current rate. You are actually behind on a few payments. Okay. I guess I'll just um stop paying my dog's chemotherapy this week. Erin, you don't have a dog. I know. I'm sorry. That was a horrible lie. I know. Maybe I should get a therapy dog instead of you. <laughs> That was another joke. I'm sorry, I'll pay the money. Please see me next week. Hey, Dad. Hey, love. Having an off day. Yeah. I'm starting to think I'm not all that. You know that we're 10 times less attractive than we think we are? God, that was a real kicker. You know, I'm exactly as attractive as I think I am. I'm starting to think I'm even more attractive. Your mother was really keeping me down in that relationship, you know? Like just today, I've had several people come up and tell me that they think that I'm beautiful. You know, well, it's probably because you're wearing that Christina Aguilera t-shirt. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so, love. Okay, well, I need to do something to boost up my self-esteem. <laughs> well, you should listen to Christina. I mean, she's really helped me through this breakup with your mum. You know, today, for the first time, I put on clean underpants. I'm a fighter. Hey, why don't we enter that daddy-daughter karaoke competition? We can sing Dirty by Christina. Yeah, I don't know how well that'll go down, love. I mean, I'll do it. You seem like you could use the help. Yay! <laughs> Hello. We're here for the Daddy Daughter Karaoke Competition. Okay, so this is just a regular karaoke bar. Awesome. here for the daddy-daughter karaoke competition. Jeez, this is it Eurovision?
It's alright. What would Christina do? She'd fight on. The audience looks really unfriendly. What am I looking at? Just perform for the ladies at the front. Okay. Um, this is for the ladies up the front. Trying to squeeze a circle through a triangle. Um... We had a wild night. It's only 10 p.m. Yeah, well, we started at 7, and that is a whole three hours ago. Yeah, a whole three hours. You know, Mum, I've been seeing a therapist, and she said that you're the reason for Dad and mine's low self-esteem. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Erin. Yeah, well, look at us now. We're incredible. You're getting your sweat over everything, Damien. Oh, God. Sorry. No. You're not sorry. We're not sorry. Yeah. We're not sorry.